Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, it looks like I have to rotate my device because it's deciding to do this vertical. So hold on one moment. I guess I had it on a vertical setting. Okay, so I want to talk to you a bit about the class that is coming in. And um, so I've been 37 years pretty much in the underworld outside of connection to this reality in very many ways waiting for the convergence and Madeline just knocked my phone over thank you Madeline you're such a good kitty <laughs> apparently I have to wait a little longer there we go so I've been I'm really excited because everything is coming together right now that I've been working for for a very, very long time at the galactic level and at the human level. It's like the human and the galactic are converging to bring in the possibility of the healing of the crystalline grid. So this is really what we're looking at, the healing of the crystalline grid. And the crystalline grid has been badly damaged. The crystalline grid runs through the fascial network in the physical body. It's in the fascia, right? The fascial network is actually what runs the liquid plasma light of our Christos being. So what we're doing is we're rehabilitating this fascial network. So you can think of the fascial network as like sort of laying broken on the ground in this state of passivity because of all the things we've been through on this planet, which have really damaged the whole fascia, the whole Christic being has been shattered and put in a passive position. And it, it's on the solstice when that, our second eclipse on the solstice brought in the multidimensional Christic, 11th dimensional matrix came in on June 23rd, okay? And this is what's making it all possible for the rehabilitation to happen because we have the whole matrix in here now. The ghost of the healed matrix can lay on top of the actual fascial network and begin to heal it. The other element we have is mid-July, the Divine Mother matrix really anchored in. So look at this, we have the Divine Mother here and we have the Christ here. And so now all of this rehabilitation for the body of the Christ, the house of God, the house that love built, the house that joy built. Because what's magical, guys, is that joy is the thing that heals the fascial network. Joy speaks to the broken pieces and starts uniting them. It is amazing. The last three days for me, I've been experiencing actually seeing this synapses in the fascial network and I hit a gap and I start to feel that despair and then I find some joy whether it's in music whether it's in love with nature whether it's in whatever it is gratitude or joy and then that experience flies me across the gap I literally fly across the synaptic gap and then the fascia heals and starts running joy. And then it starts falling again when I hit another gap and then I bring in more joy and I cross that gap. So this is really, I'm calling my class flight school because we are teaching you how to keep bringing joy and keep bringing infusions of joy into your being because this is what runs the architecture that houses God. And God is rising. We are resurrecting the Christos Sophia template, the masculine and the feminine of the divine blueprint of the Christos template are being unified again. And we are in this time with such a powerful passage. You know, the whole world is going, the old matrix is going through complete death throes. But some of us are really being called to become the new earth to become pillars bridging the new earth so that all of those that are suffering in this underworld die off can have a place to come to quickly because we've been anchoring in the dawn and then we can simply just say, come, come to us. So we are the ones at the dawn who anchor in this unshakable peace, this incredible joy. And it starts with this 
living matrix, being unified with nature and feeling oneself as fully embraced in Divine Mother's love, as an innocent child of the universe, feeling the awe and wonder of the natural world. That is the pinnacle of beginning to be in, in the place where you can start rehabilitating this fascial network is in the gratitude of Divine Mother. She's here, guys, July 16th. She really came in. I literally walk with the Divine Mother every day. I feel her talking to me as if she's right here. She tells me, don't go in there, there's some COVID-19. She tells me I know exactly where to move, where I'm in a benevolent universe because she has me in her arms. So a big part of the first part of this class is the music, the harmonic ascension codes that draw you right into the heart of Divine Mother's love, because that's where it all starts. Quieting the fear, quieting the distractions, quieting the polarity, the worry, the figuring it out, and just letting yourself lay in the arms of Divine Mother. This is where it all begins. And then we begin actively working with the inner child. This child spark is the one who holds the joy. She knows how to do joy. She is and he is your magical child, whether masculine or feminine. I have a little boy and a little girl. I think we all do. <laughs> but then the magical children are leading us on this journey back to joy. So a lot of my class is going to be just like finding the music that brings you exquisite joy, drawing the pictures, painting with the colors, singing the songs. We'll be doing a lot of chants for spontaneous love and joy creation because the child is the leader. She's sitting in the masculine's lap in the cockpit, right? Like he's flying the plane and Divine Mother's supporting him and he's flying the plane, but the child is giving him the altitude. She's the one that infuses the joy straight into the engine that has liftoff happen. So this is a partnership between the Divine Mother as the supportive matrix that's making this all possible, the Christos, which is just, has his blueprint now on the earth, who's able to just be like, oh my God, Divine Mother's right here holding me. My woman is here in my sacred marriage and my matrix is here. So I think I'm actually gonna be able to fly this thing. That's what the masculine is saying. The inner child is like, oh, you need me because I have the joy. So he puts her in his lap in the cockpit. And then the feminine is just infusing this incredible love and benevolence. And we start experimenting with what brings the most joy. And how can we stay like swimming and flying across the synapses so that this fascia begins to resurrect? We're literally resurrecting the fascia from the dead. That's what, it's like Lazarus. The fascia is like Lazarus. It's been broken, it's been damaged. Fear-based trauma, trauma and fear damage the fascia. And we know on this earth, we have had enough trauma and fear to shatter the fascia and leave it laying in a coma. So we're bringing the fascial network, which is the crystalline grid, it's another way to say the crystalline grid, out of a comatose state and we're resurrecting it back to its active position as a strong body that runs the current of the Christ, which is liquid plasma light. The crystalline grid runs liquid plasma light. That is our divine blueprint. That is our operating system that we had in the beginning before this entire massive fall into the hellhole of this beautiful earth school. And that's another thing, we have to be grateful for everything. So a lot of this class is, not a lot, but a little of it is gonna give you some galactic background into how the DNA got severed, how the sacred marriage turned into a divorce, and how the inner child was taken into the dungeon to be raped and tortured, how all of this happened. We're not gonna spend much time on that at all, because that does not bring joy. But we do, it's good to have a background so you can have a strategy when you have a fallen state and you feel in despair, you can look, okay, is it the sacred marriage that's in the grief? Is it the child that's in the grief? You know, how can we bring the happy family back together? The Holy Trinity of the masculine, 
the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and the magical child. You need them all to bring this joy back online. And ultimately, they're all one. But we're going to probably, at this state in our evolution, we're going to work with them sometimes as separate beings. Because if you'll notice, when you have a trigger or a trauma in life, usually you can find the part of yourself that's more triggered and the other parts can support that part. So it, it's beautiful. And as we feel that we ourselves are generating joy and well-being, that gives us more joy and well-being. So it's an upward spiral. And then Divine Mother celebrates because we're having joy and well-being. And then our whole core soul group gets an infusion of absolute joy at the monadic level in well-being. And then the God consciousness sees our core soul group light up and gets a, a joy burst. So once you open the doors to this positive feedback loop of joy, excuse me, as I, uh, one of the things that brings me a lot of joy is my scarf in the wind. <laughs> so... This is what the class is going to be. And it's going to be a lot of music, a lot of beautiful things. I'm going to be sharing with you the harmonic codes of ascension through music. And of course, music is very, very, very individual. You're going to have the songs that spark your greatest joy, that just light you on fire. And those are the songs that you want to listen to, right? And sometimes you're going to be going through grief and you're probably not going to want to hear an ascension song at that moment and you just honor yourself we're also going to be going through kind of a Heinz 57 blend of many emotional body clearing techniques so you can find which one you like the very best because we have to be masters of feeling all emotion so that we can clean off the palate and start fresh and rehabilitate in joy right we are we are it's time to fly this is flight school. So I'm looking for my cadets, you know. I've been feeling like the captain, um, an officer, and a gentleman. I've been being shown the Richard Gere character a lot, saying, this is you. You know, this is, this is officer and a gentleman. Hello, beautiful bee. My goodness, this bee is so close to me. Just beholding the magic of nature and how the network of nature is connected if we look at how the mycelium connects every tree to itself in the forest, this is a total representation of the Divine Mother Matrix. We have to know that we're not separate, that we are loved, that we've not been left behind, that we are remembered. And that's how we celebrate that baseline state of Divine Mother's love. We're ready to now cultivate joy. But we have to be in the baseline arms of Divine Mother. So a lot of this class is going to be really bringing us into the living matrix to feel held and to move any of the traumatic beliefs in separation, in fear, in lack, to move those out and bring in the aligning beliefs that connect us to that total feeling that we are loved. We are held. So class starts August 23rd, and I'm thrilled. It's unfolding hot off the presses. I will be as surprised as you. I'm only told this is my job. I'm here to resurrect the fascial network to run the grid of Christ so that we bridge into new earth and that we become pinnacles of new earth to call everyone in the dying world home. That is my job position after 37 years in the underworld. I have been dubbed flight instructor. I received my medal, my captain's hat, the whole thing. There was a whole ceremony. I'm just like, okay. So 37 years in the underworld to become a flight school instructor for the return of the Christ. Class starts August 23rd. I'm looking for my cadets. We're going to learn to fly. So... There's a link up here in this video description. And I would be so honored to have you on this incredible journey. It's going to be unfolding in real time, depending on who comes to the class and their specific needs, their specific energy um, signatures, the particular traumas that they are emerging from. I mean, we're really looking for people who are emerging from the grid of pain and separation.
and are ready for joy. You guys are ready to fly. You guys are badass light workers who've been in the muck for a long time and you are exiting the muck and you're ready to do the high play of rehabilitating your Christed matrix. Those are my cadets. If you know, if, if it's you or if you have friends that you know are in our flight school, bring them to me. The link is here on this class description. I'm thrilled. I'm so excited that I'm having to really anchor and ground myself. Thank God for my husband. He's very grounded. He's very, he's like, we need to do the laundry now. We need to take out the trash now. We need to make love now. He, he has to, making love is like, I'm usually up in here getting galactic energy all the time. And he's just like, uh, you know, it's time to make love. And so we have to get down into the body to make love. And there's a part of this class that's all about getting into the body to experience the divinity of sexual pleasure. It's the last thing that I think of is sexual pleasure. But my husband's like, come on, honey, he's there to ground me. Because the full Christosophianic template has to be all the way through the lower chakras. They're the hardest ones to get into. They're the ones that have the most gnarly beliefs and the most, the deepest held trauma. But until we get down into those lower chakras and sexual pleasure is a great way to get down into those sexual pleasures. As you're bringing your divinity, your higher energy of universal love all the way down into the body for this sacred act of co-creation, really. I mean, it's the most sacred act we have as a human is making love. It's, it's incredible, right? And it's the last thing I think of. Thank God for my husband. It's like, down, girl, down. Come out of the office. Come out of the multidimensional airplane flight school download room and find your sex organs. You know, just this morning, that's what we, it took a while to get the masculine out of the control room, down, the feminine took him down into the heart, down into the living room, and then down into the belly, and then finally down into the abdomen, and finally there I am at my, I don't want to be censored, you know, my vagina, Carolina. Anyway, <laughs> so... <laughs> My husband puts up with a lot, man. He needs like a t-shirt that says like, I survived the tour of duty with galactic angelic mermaid song weaver aquifarian human hybrid Palladorian covenant knight of the Christos guardian races. And I'm still here to talk about it. That's, that's what my husband's... Uh, yeah, Pamela, that's me. After 37 years in the underworld, I'm a flight instructor. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm reporting. I got my like captain's hat. I got my medal. All this stuff was just being like adorned on me. I didn't, I was passively just like going, what? Really? Is it time? And I, cause I've been looking for a job for 37 years and nothing, nothing. Nothing that could help, that could bring together the inner child, the masculine, and the divine feminine. And I was like integration or bust. So I've been sitting in this void of not knowing what the F I'm doing for actually really since 1997. I've been attempting to find a niche in this reality, a job, since 1997. So it's not that long. I'm exaggerating. It's a 20 Help me guys, my math's not so good. 1997, that would be like, 20 would be 2017. So yeah, 23 years of just like, what the F am I doing on this planet? Will it ever converge with financial abundance? Will it ever converge? And it's converging because we are in the rehabilitation of the fascial network, which runs the crystalline grid, unifies the divine feminine, the inner child, and the masculine all on the same page to anchor joy, well-being, and deep love as our baseline state and occupy every chakra in this glorious body. So we will have that whole unit on sexual pleasure and the power of being in the lower chakras, in our tantric priest and priestess, 
you know, all the way down to our toes, we have to embody this incredibly beautiful temple. This human body is here to run the energy of the Christ, to celebrate the tantric glory of life. That is our divine blueprint. So I would love to have you on this journey with me. I'm thrilled. I've already got six of my dearest friends that are climbing aboard. My cadets in flight school. Love lift us up where we belong. Remember that movie, uh, Officer and a Gentleman? I mean, it's beautiful. Love lift us up where we belong. Up where the clear winds flow. The clear winds of joy. But this is not a joy that we get by escaping feelings. This is a joy we get by fully embodying and feeling everything. And then opening ourselves to this great upward spiral that literally resurrects our fascial network from a coma into a beautiful mountain of celebration, overflowing with joy. So... That's it. Join me if you feel called. Share this video. More the merrier. I'm super excited to go on this journey with you. So much love, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Be in joy. Be in delight. Be in gratitude. Be with Divine Mother. And know you are loved.